Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be testing out Sephora bestsellers. These, I was gonna plan, I was planning to do a Sephora VIB haul, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just jump on camera. I haven't put on makeup in a while. I've been postpartum, so I'm excited to get back to playing with makeup. So I decided, you know what? We'll just have fun with makeup today and I'll just throw all these things on my face. I'll give you guys my opinions. I'll let you guys know what is worth picking up and what I think maybe you guys can skip out on. So some of these things are first impressions for me and some things I have been testing out like this Milk Makeup Mascara and what else have I tested out so far? Oh, this Super Goop sunscreen out of this Veil Setting Powder. And then some things that were first impressions for me are the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I have the Jouer Concealer and Natasha Denona Blush, a new Becca Lip stick so lots of fun things lots to get through so we'll go ahead and get started okay so since I'll be in and out of the house today I wanted to apply some sunscreen first and I have this sunscreen by super goop they actually sent this out to me so nice of them I've been I've had my eye on this forever and it's been sold out on Sephora so I know I think it's one of their most popular products but this is their unseen sunscreen in an SPF of 40 I have tried this out already and I do really like it it's really cool it's almost it comes out clear which is the first time I've ever seen seen that in a sunscreen and it almost feels like it reminds me a lot of the Smashbox photo what was that what was that primer called the photo focus primer I think it's clear and it has a really thick almost like silicone consistency but it sits so nicely under makeup because it really fills in your pores and it almost it just smooths everything out keeps your face really moisturized it doesn't pill or anything underneath foundation so it's a really awesome sunscreen I can see why it's so popular it's a little bit on the greasy side and if you're not a fan of that silicone feel you might not like this but I don't know with my dry skin I think it works really nicely and let's see I'll go into foundation next since I'm not gonna do a heavy-duty smoky eye look but I'm so excited about this. I got the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is the Pro Filter Foundation. This is supposed to have a soft matte long wear finish. It has medium to full coverage. And I've just been so excited about this because the reviews have been just so good. I'm always, I've said this before, but I'm always leery about a matte foundation with my dry skin. But there's people I follow like Jamie Page and who else? Jamie Page is probably the one person that stands out to me. She has dry skin and she always raves about this foundation. So I picked up the shade 190. It looks a little light in the bottle. Let's see how this works. I love the packaging. It has a nice glass bottle. And the price is awesome. I think it's in the 30 something dollar range. So I just slammed this into my mirror. <laughs> but you can't beat that for a high end foundation. So I was, that's another reason why I jumped on it. It was one of those last minute items that I decided to add to my cart. It, I just had my eye on it for so long. Okay, so I put a little bit on my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. I talked about this before, but I love this sponge. All right, this looks like it's gonna be a good shade match for me. Oh wow, the coverage is awesome. Did you see how that immediately covered up my sunspot? My melasma has really been poking through, so right now will be like the true test for a full coverage foundation because everything is just darker than normal because of the extra melanin in my skin from being pregnant. But, oh, it feels really lightweight too. Okay, that is with one layer. It smooths over the skin so nicely. It doesn't feel like... I don't know, like that like cakey, thick, dry feel like a lot of the matte foundations can have. It just feels really silky smooth on my skin. Oh, that looks really good. Let me put a little bit more on my forehead. So this is my first video back since having the baby and everything has been great. It's The baby's about two weeks old now. Both girls are sleeping right now. So I decided to jump on here, throw some makeup on, play with some makeup because it's been, oh my gosh, so long since I just applied makeup and felt like myself we went out for my friend's twins baptism this weekend so that was like the first time like we actually ventured out of the house and it just felt good to to get out but everything has been going really well the baby is amazing she is the best sleeper ever the first night i'm like oh my gosh she's gonna be such a night out she was up all night she wanted her binky all night long but the last week or so, she's been, she just wakes up for her feeds. She sleeps in between. I couldn't ask for a better baby. So it's been really great. The delivery went really smooth as well, which I was so nervous about. I ended up getting induced. I guess they offered it to me. I guess being that she was my second child, they figured it would go really quickly. Um, 
So I ended up delivering her at 39 weeks. Initially, I was sitting in the hospital overnight. Nothing was happening. I was only two centimeters dilated. By the next morning, I was still, I think I only got to three centimeters. So they ended up starting Pitocin, and then I had her by 3 p.m. that day. I ended up pushing her out in 10 minutes, which was a totally different experience for my first daughter. I pushed for two and a half hours with her. It, it was, yeah, it was a long process. So needless to say, this was so much smoother, and we got to take her right home. My first daughter was in the NICU for three weeks, which I talked about before. So it was just so nice to have her in our arms, to spend time with her, and to get her home. So. It, I couldn't have asked for a nicer experience and I'm just we're both just so happy and things have been going so well So thank you for all your kind words. Everybody's been so sweet, but I'm happy to be back This is just such a fun hobby for me. I could not do it without my husband. He has been Amazing. Oh my gosh. I you know, we kind of took on these different roles like I kind of take care of the baby and he's been all in it with my toddler which she actually turned out to be she's a little bit more work you know she's a three-year-old she's just on the move constantly but he's just been awesome it's been really great so hopefully it stays like this I know the baby stage is usually the easiest part so we will see I'll keep you guys posted <laughs> so that is two layers of the foundation I think it looks really good. I love the finish of it. It has like a slight dew to it. It's not completely matte. As it's drying down, it does feel slightly drying, but it's not makeup-y looking. It's not settling into any of my fine lines. It's not accentuating dry patches. It's not quite full coverage. You can still see my sunspot. Initially, I thought the coverage was going to be really good, but I would say it's medium. You can build it up to full, but yeah. I don't know, I like the finish of it. So we'll see how it wears throughout the day. And then next up, I wanted to try out this Jouer concealer. I picked up the shade Wheat. I picked this concealer up because I had a few samples of it in a Jouer order that I had placed. And I just really loved the coverage of it and it just wore really nicely throughout the day. And the price was really good. It's a $22 concealer. A lot of the high-end concealers, they're getting pretty crazy with their prices. A lot of them, I noticed, are in the 30 something dollar range. I was gonna pick up the Cover FX concealer. A lot of people were recommending that to me, but I don't know, I saw this and I'm like, oh, I, you know what, I've had my eye on that for a while. Let me just go for it, it's a little cheaper. So this blends in so nicely. My one thing about a concealer, I like it to be really emollient and silky. I hate when, you know, a concealer skips or if it looks patchy or dry, but this feels really nice. The coverage is awesome. Now that completely covered up my melasma. Wow, okay, that looks really, really good. It works really nicely with this foundation too. Okay, I think I might have a new favorite concealer. That looks so good. At first I thought the shade was gonna be a little light, but it highlights just enough, just in the right places. Okay, and then to set, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. This is another product I've had my eye on for so long. Everybody raves about this. The ratings are so great. The thing that intrigued me about this, everybody talked about how lightweight it was, about the radiant finish, about how it's dry, great for dry skin. So I could not wait to try this. So this is one of the products that I have been testing out for a while, and I love it, it looks great, but the one thing that has been driving me nuts about it, there's nowhere to like dump the powder out. See it, how it has this well, and it, the powder is dispensed from this H design in the pan, but there's nowhere to place it in the actual lid. It has this tiny little well in here. You try to get it directly into the well, but it ends up getting on the sides, and it's just kind of hard to pick up. I do notice a lot of people applying the powder onto the lid, but then again, it's kind of super messy, so that isn't the one negative to this, but otherwise, I've been loving this. It's an absolutely beautiful powder. I can see why everybody just raves and raves about this. It's just so lightweight, and it really does like somehow give a radiant finish with it being a setting powder. That's the thing about hourglass powders. They just add like such life to your skin. They're just so beautiful. I love that I get that matte finish while at the same time, I don't know, they still add some, almost like the slightest luminosity to your skin. They're just so beautiful. It just makes your makeup last all day. It never makes your face look cakey. It just makes it look so super smooth. And the thing about this powder, this is kind of like a weird quality about it, but I don't know, I can't stop touching my face after my makeup's done. It just adds this like, velvet finish to your face it's just absolutely gorgeous i'm just so happy to have it again it's 
I do think it's worth the money and I'm glad I splurged on it during the sale. I think this will be a future repurchase for me because it's just, I just love how it wears. So super happy with that. I would definitely recommend that. All right, so I'm looking a little pale. I need some bronzer. I picked up this Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade. This is their Endless Summer bronzers. I picked up the shade Faux Tan. These are brand new to the Bare Minerals collection and they're really selling fast. It looks like people are really loving these. Emily Noel talked about, I think it was the shade on her channel and she really liked it so, and I always really trust her reviews. So I figured I'd try this out. So let's see how this looks. So here's the packaging and is it a matte bronzer? Let's swatch it. Okay. So it does look like a pretty matte bronzer. On the box, you see like this swatch up here. This has like a slight shimmer, so I thought it would have a little shimmer to it, which I like the slightest shimmer to my bronzer. So we will see how this looks. Do I have a big fluffy brush? I always end up picking way too many, more than I need. I always talk about the Lila B bronzer that I love, but I don't know, I wanted to try something new. Oh, that is a good shade like that. It's not too warm. It has a slight ashiness to it. I feel like it could almost work as a contour. Maybe I'll try to contour my nose with this, see how it looks. Man, I got a lot of peach fuzz going on. <laughs> I don't know if that came with pregnancy or what, but I feel like all of a sudden I have all this extra hair on the side of my face. I thought you were supposed to lose hair during your pregnancy. Maybe it'll end up falling out. <laughs> ah, I love this color. It's so pretty. And it does almost look like it has a slight shimmer. So it gives the slightest radiance to your skin. I don't detect any glitter flecks whatsoever. I really like that. Okay. So let's see how it works as a contour. I'll just do a quick little contour with it. Okay, maybe I won't have to reach for my Kevin Aquan anymore. I can just do a one-stop shop with my bronzer. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I wanna try some of Bare Minerals blushes too. Everybody talks about the Gen Nudes line, how great their blushes are. So maybe I'll pick up a few of those because I'm really happy with that powder. Okay, so let's try out this Natasha Denona. I picked up the Blush and Glow palette. The pans are super tiny, but it's okay. It's They're just small enough. Sometimes those highlighting pans you get, I'm like, I am never gonna go through this pan of highlight. Like, I don't care how much highlighter I use, I'll never go through this. So I don't care so much about that highlight, but that blush is a little tiny. Let's see, but it looks like a really pretty color. I love these like peachy coral shades. It has the slightest amount of peach to it, so I think it'll be really pretty for summer. Okay, it's not really, I'm not getting too much pink showing up. And I like a little pigment in my blush. I don't like too much pigment. I like to build it up, but this is a pretty light pink shade. As I'm building it up, I am getting more color, but I'm just adding, I'm just getting more and more highlight with it. So I don't know, you have to really like a shimmery blush to like this. I'm kind of bummed. I wish the blush was more of just like a matte blush and then you could work up the shimmer with the highlight. But it's a really pretty color. Yeah, I feel like I don't even need the highlight, but for the heck of it, let's see what the highlight looks like. This is my type of highlight, that like golden champagne shimmer. I just love these shades. This color reminds me a lot of Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, which is like my all time favorite highlight shade. So this looks really pretty. Wow, yeah, that's really pretty. So with this palette, I think I'm gonna get more use out of the actual highlight. Then I will the blush. It's a little too shimmery on its own. I just wish you could build up the blush pigment without adding that extra shimmer. But if you like the glow, then you would like this. But for me, I don't know. I don't think I'll return this. I think I'll definitely use the highlight side, but I'm like so-so with this. All right, and then for my eyeshadow, this is not new, but this is one of my favorite palettes by ABH. This is the Soft Glam palette. I think this is one of her best-selling palettes. And for good reason there's I just love the color story in here as I throw this palette all around by the way I dropped this this morning I almost freaked out but somehow it none of the pans broke I could not believe it so this is definitely a sturdy palette and yeah just check out those shades I just I love them so much but the two shades I reach for the most are probably this orange soda shade and then this burnt orange color they both have this nice like peachy undertone it adds a little bit of warmth to your eyes so they just bring out any eye color I just love them both for a transition 
I'm gonna go in with just orange soda today and just go all across my eye with that just fluff that into the crease And I'm using this fluffy brush from the morphe collection with Jaclyn Hill So back to the labor talk you guys can totally skip ahead if you don't this is like fair warning if you don't want to hear about my Cracked sore nipples just go ahead and skip right ahead But oh my gosh breastfeeding this time has been no joke the first time I don't know if it's because I had to pump initially with my first daughter So maybe it gave time for my nipples to like toughen up a little bit, but oh my gosh She is like tearing me up. I got mastitis already this past week has kind of been a little rough I'm on antibiotics now um, they're getting they're a little less sore, but oh my god It still freaking hurts when she eats so if you guys have any suggestions any of you that have breastfeeding experience out there Just I'd love to hear some tips I know lactation told me in the hospital that she was latching too shallow So I really have to make sure I just shove her on and I think that really has been helping but it still hurts So I don't I don't know what's going on, but it's just crazy. It's just I'm a breastfeeding resource nurse at work. That's one of my roles. So I'm supposed to know what I'm doing here, but it's just this, it takes a lot of figuring out. And I give moms a lot of credit for breastfeeding as long as they do, because like I said, it's just, it's a lot of work. I did pump for a while to get a little bit of relief and that seemed to help them heal a little bit. And I was getting more relief. One of my friends from work told me that as long as you can get through the first two weeks, then you'll be fine things will start to work themselves out it'll feel a little better and we're getting there um, like i said we're almost two weeks out and it's feeling a little better but it still hurts <laughs> i did at the beginning we supplemented her with formula i still give her some formula here and there she was a little bit jaundiced at the beginning she still is a little jaundiced so i want to make sure she's like nice and hydrated but you know what me and my brother were formula fed and we turned out all right no health problems no allergies so you gotta do what's best for you and your baby. I feel like formula has such a stigma these days, but there's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with it. Okay, enough breastfeeding talk. Let's get back to the makeup. I'm gonna go in with, let's do eyebrows next. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Brow Precise Brow Pencil. This is not from Sephora, but this is one of my favorite brow pencils and it's super cheap. You just cannot beat it. I really want to try out ABH's, they, I think it's called the Definer Brow. It's a thicker brow pencil. I've talked about this before, but I'm done with the brow wiz. I just feel like for what you get for the money, this is the exact same thing. It's a super fine tip pencil. It lasts just as long as the brow wiz. And it really, you know what, I feel like the brow wiz breaks quicker than this one does. But I've heard great things about her thicker pencil. So I'd love to try that one out. I'm really liking her brow pomade brow gel. It's just really pigmented, so you just have to make sure to go in with a really light hand with it. Which, do I have that in front of me? Oh, I do. Okay, I'll use that just to define the arches. The only thing, it can get a little patchy. It'll leave like little chunks on your brows, so you kind of have to be careful as you're applying it. But I like the color it gives to my brows, and it leaves them looking defined. It's the first brow gel that I've used that just actually almost stencils out your brow. You can almost skip a brow pencil with this. So I really like it. See how I applied the little spit and it's already, they're pretty dark. So definitely go in with a light hand if you don't like that like heavy duty brow look. Okay, so now we'll go in with mascara. I think I'm gonna skip an eyeliner and just go in with mascara. I have been loving, this is another product I have been testing out, the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara in the Waterproof Formula. I wore this during my delivery and it did hold up. It wasn't as thick and voluminous as it was initially, but it didn't smudge, it didn't flake. I was super impressed. I was not a fan of their original formula. I thought that did smudge. It got really clumpy also, but this, I don't know, the formula is a lot better. So I've really been liking this. Let me see if I can get in a little closer so you guys can see. And it just gives your lashes that like fanned out effect. It seems to curl them also. But see what a difference that makes? I feel like where you really notice the biggest impact is on the lower lashes. It just really, it makes them so voluminous so it really opens up your eye. I just, I don't know, I love this mascara. And I'm not usually one to splurge on high-end mascaras. I just think there's so many good ones at the drugstore. But I just loved, I loved how the original gave so much volume, but the fact that it smudged drove me nuts, so I really wanted to try this one out. And like I said, I really like it. 
I'm just gonna smudge some shadow on my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into the ABH palette, back into that burnt orange shade, and just go along that lower lash line. Okay, so now I'll go in with a lipstick, one of my favorite parts of makeup application. You guys know I love a nude lip, and I've had my eye on a few shades from the Becca lipstick line. This is their Ultimate Lipstick Love collection. I picked up the shade Bear. It looked like a pinky nude with a slight peachy undertone sound familiar I feel like all my lipsticks look like that but it looks so pretty I think Mel Thompson wore this in one of her videos and it just looked gorgeous on her I have the shade yours truly from the Chloe and Malika collection and I love the formula so much it has just such a buttery feel and it, they just go on so silky smooth it feels like a really just luxe lipstick formula so here's the shade looks really pretty I actually thought it'd be a little bit more pinky than that it looks like it'll be almost like a spicy nude. So let's see how this looks. Oh, it actually, it goes on more pink than how it looks in the tube. Oh, it's so pretty. It feels, and it feels so good on the lips. What is in here? It's so creamy. Let's see. Satin lip color infused with hyaluronic acid, ultra creamy, pure color pigments coated in light reflecting oils deliver high pigment color. Oh, there's lanolin in here. So. Speaking of cracked nipples, lanolin is like in all my nipple creams. It's really, it's a super occlusive thick moisturizer and it's so super healing so I can see why this lipstick feels so good. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. I love the color, I love the formula. This was a winner. I feel like everything I really loved. The foundation, let's see how it's holding up. So far so good. My lines underneath my eyes look look a little bit more accentuated as my makeup's drying down, but that might be the concealer. But everywhere else, my the makeup looks so smooth. I love that, what do they call it, that soft matte finish. It just looks so pretty. It's natural, but yet it takes away any like heavy duty shine. I just love it. My face looks really poreless. I can't really see my texture. My melasma is covered up. That concealer is super high coverage. I really love it. It looks like it does it's a little drying as it dries down, but again, it goes on silky smooth. I love the coverage. The one thing I would say, I don't know, if you're a shimmery blush fan, maybe you would like this, but for me, it's a little too shimmery for me. I like the highlight in here, but I might have skipped out on this, but I won't return it. I'll keep it. I think, I don't know. The packaging is super cute, and again, I'll use that highlight, but everything else I loved, and yeah, I love this look. It's like my everyday go-to look. Another thing that I loved is that Super Goop sunscreen. I just love that it gives your face that moisturizing smooth canvas before makeup so i love that speaking of spf i think i will plan to do an spf video in the future let me know let me know what you would like to see me include in that video what are your favorite spfs i've been testing out the super goop foundation the volition beauty foundation or foundation the spf the josie marin spf i've been testing out and the color signs the powder sunscreen i haven't purchased that yet but it's on my radar. I'm really interested in those sunscreens that can go over makeup. So the fact that it's a powder and you know you can wear full face of makeup and still put your sunscreen over top, I really like that concept. But let me know if there's others that you guys can think of that you'd like me to test out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.